Hello, in this video, I wanna answer a couple questions that have been coming up about my new game developer bootcamp. If you're interested in it, there's a link down below that describes the entire thing. But in this video, I just wanna answer some of these most common questions. And the first one that comes up every time is about the timing of the course. People are wondering, since it's a boot camp, do I need to attend it live? Do I need to be there some certain amount of hours per week at the beginning? Or can I do this kind of on my own pace? What is that like? You definitely can go at your own pace. There's absolutely nothing in this coursework that's going to stop you from going as slow as you want or just about as fast as you want. Although I am only releasing 10 lessons per week. So we're gonna have 10 lessons that we'll talk about throughout that week. Of course, I'll be available to answer questions about it afterwards if you're not there that week or you miss our live Q&A calls or you miss the office hours. I'm always available via email as well. I would recommend if you can do it all live that that's awesome, but I totally understand that most people have jobs, kids, and other things going on, so it's set up to be super flexible. So you can get in, do as many lessons as you want and as much time as you have to spend, and then join our Q&A calls, join the live chats if you can, and if not, you can always submit your questions in advance and I'll answer them there. You can go back and watch me answer your questions to everybody else and see the answer yourself. The next question that comes up often is, should I take this bootcamp course or the game programmer course or the mastery course? And my general recommendation here is, go with this bootcamp. It is going to completely replace my game programmer content and most of the mastery course content as well with a big update to the latest versions of Unity. A lot of things that I think I've gotten a lot better at teaching over the years and some really cool new tech that's been added in. It covers AI stuff, build automation, and a lot of other cool things that weren't in some of the other coursework. And now it's a lot more condensed so you can learn it a lot faster without me saying as many extra words and without me wasting any of your time. That leads me to the next question, which is what's in the course? What are we actually learning? And this course or bootcamp is really designed to take people from a zero experience level up to at least able to get a junior developer job or at least being able to do the skills to get a junior developer job. You've always got to actually go through the interview and talk to people. But to get you the skills to be able to build a game from scratch and show you step by step everything that you need to build a full on game. We'll start with the code fundamentals and how to get started with like an empty project. You got a blank slate and where to get going. We'll also go through source control right from the beginning because I think it's a very important part of being a professional software developer and build automation because it's a big part of getting jobs. If you can automate their build process and they don't have that already, it can help a lot. Plus it'll save you a lot of time and give you the ability to share your game with the other developers that are in the course. We'll be building a game that works on just about any platform Platform. I've got my Steam Deck over here to deploy to, but we'll do WebGL builds as well. And we're gonna cover a lot of different topics. I don't wanna dive into everything that's kind of linked down below, but essentially think of building out a full game with all of the types of systems that you would wanna see and doing it in a way that's easy to understand and kind of easy to get into your brain. That's the goal of this is to make it so that when you wanna build your own game, you've got your own ideas, you can take those ideas and have a good idea of where to go, what to start with, what to build next, and how to change and modify things. We'll also dive into some deeper, more advanced concepts like profiling and performance optimization to make sure that your game actually runs well on other devices. And we're gonna do, uh, there's a whole lot more. You get a lot of opportunity to build cool stuff, have a lot of fun and share things with other developers. If that's interesting to you, click the link in the description, go check it out and uh, come join us live. If not, I totally understand. Just hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next video.